Hi, Kevin here. Well, I'm afraid it's just you and me for dinner tonight. We're going to have a vegetarian meal. I'm fixing bean burgers, and I'm going to serve the burgers with sweet potato fries and corn on the cob. I just picked this up from my local farm stand today. And what else? Uh, oh, for dessert, we're going to have some of the strawberry ice cream that I made for you a couple of weeks ago. All right, let's get started on the burgers. Now, I'm wearing food prep gloves because I'm going to be mixing the bean burgers by hand. And what I have here is two cans, two 15.5 ounce cans of red kidney beans. Normally, I make these burgers with black beans, but there were no black beans at the supermarket today. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, put the beans in a large-ish bowl. And I did drain and rinse the beans first. Then add a quarter cup of diced onion. Also add one cup of dried seasoned breadcrumbs. And I'm using gluten-free breadcrumbs because I just happen to have them on hand. So that's one cup of dry seasoned breadcrumbs. And then we need some seasonings. A half teaspoon of ground cumin, a half teaspoon of chili powder. You can certainly use a larger quantity of these seasonings if you like. And a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Just for a little bit of heat. I don't want smoke coming out of my ears. Then we have to add one large beaten egg. Now you can try mashing this mixture with a potato masher, but honestly, it's much, much easier to just do it by hand. And what we're aiming for is some totally crushed beans and some beans that remain whole. That gives the burgers a really nice texture. And the nice thing about this recipe is that the burgers do not fall apart when you flip them. I've tried other recipes and, well, they were disastrous. You flip the burgers and they totally crumble on you. But not these. Of course, we'll see what happens with the red kidney bean mixture. Again, I normally make these with black beans. And we are mixed enough. Okay, I'm going to divide this into four patties for very generous sized patties. Put this down the middle and then split each half in half. Okay, then form them into patties. And I will finish forming these and then I will meet you over at the cooktop. use a paper towel to cut off the camera. All right, we will be cooking these bean burgers in coconut oil. This is terrific for medium heat frying. It's actually a healthy fat, so I'm just letting the co coconut oil melt. And while we're waiting for that, let me show you we're going to have the burgers on English muffins, which I'm going to toast.
There was a restaurant in New York City that served all of their burgers on English muffins, and boy, did I love that. So to this day, I usually put burgers on English muffins. All right, and here are the burgers. I just wanted to show you um, a close-up. So you can see there are some whole beans in here and some crushed beans. That's exactly what we want. And in they go into the hot coconut oil. All right, now I'm going to brown these on both sides. That's going to be probably four or five minutes per side. So we'll come back when these are done. Okay, while the bean burgers are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start cooking the corn. Now, I don't remove the husk from the corn. I learned long ago that the easiest and best way to cook corn is in the microwave. There. And what you do is just put the corn as it is in the microwave on high for four minutes per ear of corn. So if you have two ears, you want to cook them for eight minutes. And what's really neat is that you'll be able to just slide the ear of corn out of the husk and there won't be any silk attached to it. Okay, I'm going to put these in the microwave and then I'll be back. All right, I just flipped the burgers and look at them. They definitely held their shape and they smell wonderful. Here are the sweet potato fries, and I did pop the English muffins under the broiler for about 60 seconds just to get them nice and toasted. Okay, we'll come back when the corn is ready. All right, here's the corn, and it is piping hot. And I also melted some butter in the microwave, so I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to this because I love butter and salt on corn and I hope you do too. Now to do the corn and remember piping hot, you turn them this way, you do is take the fat end of the corn and cut off a piece, like right here. Toss that aside. Do the same for the other ear. And then, maybe move this so you can see. Look at this. The corn slips right out of the husk, and there is no silk attached. Do this next ear. Oops. Just squeeze. So you're squeezing the narrow end. And there it is. And again, this is the best corn, in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to roll these around in the butter. Grab a couple of forks to help me do this. Okay. I'm going to put everything on the plates, and then I'll come right back. Oh, I wanted to show you that the Bean burgers developed a really nice crust. Listen to that. Okay, plating these up, be right back. All right, here's the dinner, I'll plate it up. Here's the bean burger. And I did put mayonnaise on one half of the toasted English muffin. Here are the sweet potato fries that I baked. Uh, they were frozen in a bag. And I bake them at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. Here's some ketchup. 
Here's red onion from the garden and some butter, I think it's called butter leaf lettuce. Here's the corn on the cob. Here's the strawberry ice cream with a basil leaf for garnish. And here's the other plate, same setup. And I really want to have a taste of this burger because I've never tasted burgers that were made with red beans, only black. Okay, I have to try this red kidney bean burger just to see if it's every bit as good as my black bean burgers. So here we go. Do you hear that crunch? Mm. It's from the crust on the bean burger. It's absolutely delicious. Another bite. Mm. Terrific. Well, I hope you will give this vegetarian meal a try someday. It's really easy to do. It's not at all expensive. And it's totally delicious. I'm going to put the list of ingredients for the bean burgers in the description box below. And um, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.